Hey guys, I'm Boyd Wilson, Training Manager of OT Australia New Zealand. Today we're going to take you through our offices here. We're located in St Kilda down in Victoria. Uh, we're home to about 80 different people who work here through both our retail, wholesale, optical and surf channel. Uh, from that we have people that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis behind the scenes. We've got our marketing team on the left hand side here. This is where your magic happens. All right guys, at the front here we've got our breakout space. This is where the productivity really happens. Uh, we have our own little car pipe here, which has been around for almost 15 years. We've got a pong table, we've got the deck set up. This is where everyone has their lunch and whatnot as well. Uh, Oakley was established back in 1975 by our founder, Jim Gennard. Uh, about 300 bucks in the back of a van in California. So pretty exciting since then. We've expanded to a company that owns about 1,000 patents pending worldwide. We work globally pretty much through every major country. Uh, we have a pretty big ethos. It's all about how we can make our products that sit on everyday shelves better and better every year. So it's all about finding that functionality within that design. So the evolution that we have nowadays is we work from everything within a marketing department to we have wholesale optical, Wholesale Sport, we have a retail business with about 25 stores throughout Australia and New Zealand and we have about 150 staff within that operation outside of this office as well. Our first ever product back in 1975 was an Oakley hand grip. Uh, back then it was pretty much revolutionised the motocross industry. The evolution for us as a business was that we actually moved and decided that handlebars aren't getting you up on a podium, people aren't seeing the brand. We moved to the, uh, the goggle world and from there Oakley was born within the optics industry. The biggest thing and the thing that really put Oakley on the map was uh, back in 1984, a piece called Eye Shade, which actually created the world's first ever sports performance sunglass and turned a sunglass from a fashion piece into a generic everyday lifestyle piece as well, and going through and making sure that it's embedded in sports performance. At Oakley, we're all about unconventionality, what a sunglass has to look like and how people within our business can affect that. So, before that, we've had people like Michael Jordan, who used to sit in our board of directors. He used to have his own personal basketball court over in our Foothill Ranch, California office. Uh, the expansion of that is to Athlete Roster Today, which sees people like Julian Wilson take on the surf industry. Ryan Sheckler has been on our athlete list for over 10, 15 years now. The number one optic story for us in the market now is called Prism. Uh, it was born back in 2013 in the snow industry and it slowly expanded to stuff like sport and lifestyle. Now what we're trying to do is we're trying to add as much contrast and vibrance into a lens, be that through sport or through a very daily sense. Now for this machine here, we wanted to showcase the way that our eye actually perceives colour. This is called a Prism Spectrometer and it actually shows some of the patterns that Oakley works into. It's how we can actually filter light to what your eyes see. For this machine, what sunglasses naturally do, what most brands are trying to do is they just make things darker. This is an Oakley black lens, it's been around for 30 years. When you put it on this machine here, this is what we see on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to colour. A lens like this will pretty much just make everything darker. You go outside, you're trying to protect yourself from the sunlight. We still have that same 100% UV protection through prism, but ultimately what we're trying to do is we're trying to feed in colours that your eye is very sensitive to, or actually enhance what we see on a day-to-day -day basis. We call this good light. We then go through and try to remove anything that creates bad light, white light, glare, anything that's really noisy to your eye. Although we're still trying to make things darker, what we're ultimately doing is we're trying to feed in what we deem our eye to be good light and remove anything that creates that bad light. It has a real wow factor when you're looking at colours in an everyday environment. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. As always, on a Friday, we like to pop by and reward a big week of work. Just down the vineyard here in St Kilda. So thanks for stopping on by. We're going to have a cheeky drink.